In this video, I'm going to break down OUE REITS' latest business update and show you exactly how it could affect your investment returns. Whether you're a current unit holder or considering adding this REITS to your portfolio, you will want to stay until the end because I'll share my analysis of their performance and future outlook. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Iggy here, and as Singapore's top REITs analyst on YouTube, I've been covering topics such as stocks, finance, CPF, and everything related to growing your wealth. The Investing Iguana is featured and ranked 8th in the 2023 Influential Tigers by Tiger Brokers, with over 800,000 reads. I've covered over 500 videos and reached more than 250,000 watch hours as of September 2024. Let's dive deep into OUE REITS' Q3 2024 performance. The REITS has built an impressive portfolio of seven premium properties strategically positioned across Singapore and Shanghai. In Singapore, they manage six prime assets, including the prestigious OUE Bayfront overlooking Marina Bay, the iconic One Raffles place in the heart of the CBD, OUE Downtown Office in Shenton Way, the upscale Mandarin Gallery along Orchard Road, and two hospitality properties, the flagship Hilton Singapore Orchard and Crown Plaza Changi Airport. Their Shanghai asset, Lippo Plaza, is a grade a commercial building in the bustling Huangpu District. The total assets under management have reached 6.3 billion Singapore dollars, demonstrating the REITs' significant market presence. Looking at their financial performance, the latest quarterly results show net property income of 60.3 million Singapore dollars. While this represents a 3.7% year-on-year decrease, it's important to understand the context. The decline primarily results from property tax adjustments for their hospitality properties Hilton Singapore Orchard and Crown Plaza Changi Airport. When we exclude these one-off adjustments, the actual decrease is only 1.2%, indicating strong underlying operational performance. OUE REITS' Singapore office portfolio has demonstrated remarkable resilience in the third quarter of 2024, maintaining an impressive 95.4% occupancy rate. This performance is particularly noteworthy as it significantly outperforms the Singapore core CBD grade A office market average of 92.2%. The portfolio's success is further highlighted by a positive rental reversion of 10.8%, meaning new tenants are signing leases at higher rates than their predecessors. This upward trend in rental rates directly strengthens the REITs' financial position and indicates strong demand for their prime office spaces. In the retail sector, Mandarin Gallery continues to be a standout performer in OUE REITs' portfolio. The mall maintains a robust 95.3% occupancy rate, demonstrating its enduring appeal to retailers despite challenging market conditions. What's particularly impressive is the 16% positive rental reversion, which far exceeds the broader market trend. For context, Prime Orchard Road retail spaces only saw an average rent increase of 0.8% quarter-on-quarter. This exceptional performance can be attributed to Mandarin Gallery's prime location along Orchard Road, its strong tenant mix, and effective property management strategies. The strong performance across both office and retail segments reflects OUE REITs' strategic positioning in Singapore's prime locations and their ability to attract and retain quality tenants. Their assets continue to command premium rates due to their excellent locations, quality specifications, and professional management, making them attractive to both office tenants and retail businesses seeking prestigious addresses in Singapore's key commercial districts. The hospitality segment of OUE REITs presents a particularly interesting story in Q3 2024. Their revenue performance of 27.8 million Singapore dollars reflects the broader recovery in Singapore's tourism sector. The revenue per available room, RevPAR, reached 296 Singapore dollars, marking a modest but significant 0.3% increase from the previous year. This growth becomes more impressive when we break down the performance of individual properties. Crown Plaza Changi Airport showed exceptional strength with a 30.3% surge in RevPAR to 259 Singapore dollars, largely attributed to its successful asset enhancement completed in December 2023. Meanwhile, Hilton Singapore Orchard maintained its position as a premier hospitality destination in the heart of Orchard Road. The REITs' capital management strategy demonstrates remarkable market confidence. Their inaugural seven-year green notes issuance in September 2024 exceeded all expectations. What started as a $100 million Singapore dollar target attracted overwhelming investor interest, resulting in orders of $320 million Singapore dollars. 
This 3.2 times over subscription speaks volumes about investor confidence in OUE REITs' business model and future prospects. The final raise of 180 million Singapore dollars at a competitive 3.9% interest rate positions them well for future growth. This successful green financing initiative also aligns with growing ESG investment trends, potentially attracting a broader investor base and supporting their sustainability goals. The strong demand for these notes, particularly from institutional investors who took up approximately 70% of the allocation, underscores the market's positive view of OUE REITs' financial strength and management capability. OUE REITs' debt management strategy demonstrates a thoughtful and conservative approach to financial stability. Their debt structure is particularly noteworthy, with an average term of 2.9 years providing flexibility while maintaining stability. The aggregate leverage of 39.3% sits comfortably below the regulatory threshold of 45%, giving them sufficient headroom for future opportunities. What's particularly impressive is their commitment to sustainable financing, with 68.8% of borrowings classified as green financing, a strategic move that not only aligns with global ESG trends, but also potentially attracts institutional investors focused on sustainable investments. Their weighted average cost of debt stands at 4.8% per annum, which is competitive in the current high interest rate environment. The recent successful issuance of their first seven-year green notes, which was oversubscribed 3.2 times, demonstrates strong market confidence in their financial management. With 70.5% of their debt on fixed rates, they've effectively managed interest rate risks while maintaining the flexibility to capitalize on future opportunities through their newly established 2 billion Singapore dollar euro medium-term note program. The market outlook for Singapore's commercial real estate sector shows encouraging signs across multiple segments. In the office sector, CBD grade A rents have maintained stability at 11 Singapore dollars and 95 cents per square foot per month, demonstrating resilience despite global economic uncertainties. This stability is particularly noteworthy given the completion of new developments like IOI Central Boulevard Towers. The office market continues to benefit from Singapore's position as a regional business hub, with strong demand from legal firms, emerging tech companies, and professional services. The tourism sector has shown remarkable recovery, with visitor arrivals reaching 12.6 million from January to September 2024, representing a significant 24.1% increase year-on-year. -year. This growth trajectory puts Singapore on track to achieve its tourism board's target of 15 to 16 million visitors for 2024. The implementation of visa-free travel between China and Singapore has been a key driver, with Chinese visitors now exceeding pre-pandemic levels. In July 2024 alone, Chinese tourist arrivals reached 413,000, surpassing the pre-pandemic figure of 390,000. The retail sector, particularly along Orchard Road, continues to strengthen. Prime Orchard Road rents have increased by 0.8% quarter-on-quarter, reaching 37 Singapore dollars and 45 cents per square foot per month. This growth is supported by increased retailer confidence in the tourism recovery. Industry experts project retail rental growth in the Orchard slash Scotts Road area could range between 3% to 5% for the year, driven by limited supply and strong demand from international brands. The average retail occupancy rate in the Orchard slash Scotts Road precinct has improved to 91%, indicating sustained demand for prime retail spaces. Looking ahead, the market is expected to benefit from several positive factors, including improved global flight connectivity, new tourism offerings, and delayed office completions, which should help maintain rental levels. However, stakeholders should remain mindful of regional competition in tourism and potential impact from global economic conditions. Before I wrap up, let me share my thoughts on OUE REITs' future prospects, which look quite promising based on several key developments. The establishment of the 2 billion Singapore dollar euro medium-term note program in October 2024 is a significant milestone that provides substantial funding flexibility. This program allows them to tap into diverse funding sources and optimize their debt maturity profile, which is crucial in today's dynamic interest rate environment. Their BBB investment grade credit rating from S and AMP Wink with Tongue Sticking Out Global Ratings is particularly noteworthy as it demonstrates their solid financial strength and ability to meet financial commitments. This rating also typically translates to lower borrowing costs and broader access to capital markets. Looking at their operational metrics, the REITs' portfolio remains well positioned in prime locations across Singapore and Shanghai, with a healthy occupancy rate of 95.4% in their Singapore office properties. 
Their strategic focus on green financing, with 68.8% of total borrowings being green financing, aligns well with growing ESG investment trends. The REITS' diversified portfolio across office, retail, and hospitality sectors provides natural hedging against sector-specific risks, while their strong presence in Singapore, contributing 93.4% of portfolio revenue, offers stability in a mature market. With tourism recovery continuing and office demand remaining resilient, OUE REITS appears well-positioned to maintain its growth trajectory and potentially capture new opportunities in the market. If you found this detailed analysis valuable, hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on more REITs analyses. And speaking of REITs, check out my latest video on Singapore REITs, October payouts where I break down the best dividend paying REITs in Singapore. The link is in the description below.